100,000 songs are uploaded every single day to streaming platforms. 1 billion videos are watched every single day on TikTok. 1 billion hours of videos are watched every single day on YouTube. 500 million tweets are sent out every single day on Twitter. And 100 million posts are made every single day on Instagram. That's a lot of f***ing content. So much content that our attention spans are now fried. With an average human attention span of only 8 seconds, we now chart literally worse than a goldfish. There are more people releasing music today than ever before. Thus, more music than ever before for listeners to consume. However, this has led many of us to believe music no longer sticks. And in this video, we're gonna see why. Now, I'm just as big of a music fan as anyone else. Don't get me wrong, there are a few exceptions here and there which I'll get into more in a second, but for the most part today it just feels like music and albums come and go. I know I'm definitely not alone in feeling this way either. From artists themselves, to guys like Cole Bennett, as well as numerous media outlets have also said this same thing. These big albums are supposed to be some of the most memorable experiences of the year, but they're kind of just feeling like they come and they go. And I think there's a serious problem within the entire industry. All the albums that dropped last year, who did, would you feel has people still talking about it? None. Yeah. Hip hop as a whole, That's hip hop a as a whole right now is just in a fucked up position. And you it's know what? But as we begin to get to the bottom of this problem, it all stems back to our attention spans. Now, you're probably thinking, how does this have anything to do with music? And I'll try to make it fast before you get bored. It's no secret that human attention spans have been consistently decreasing in recent years. One of the biggest reasons for this? The emergence of TikTok. TikTok was the most downloaded app of 2022. Providing users endless short-form content at their fingertips with a simple swipe, it's very easy to mindlessly scroll on the app for hours. TikTok is a dopamine machine. One doctor says, it provides you an endless flow of immediate pleasures which is unprecedented in human history. But it's not just TikTok either. Today, we are so spoiled with new and unlimited content at our disposal that it's hard for us to stay focused on one thing. Got a second to sit down and take a quick break? It's not long before we're scrolling on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, or watching an 1111 video on YouTube. And we've started to see this affect the way artists release music. Very rarely do we hear a song with three verses nowadays. Shit, even two is getting rare. You also don't hear very long intros and outros anymore, as well as whole album experiences, with most artists no longer including things like interludes or narration, but rather they're now structuring their projects more like playlists, since if people get bored or don't like the first few songs then they'll just skip it. Which is also why I think the trend of 20 plus songs in deluxe albums is even more dumb. Now Nowadays, the average listener will play a new album one to three times, add a few of their favorite songs to their playlist, and then move on to another one of the many new albums that drop each week. The music industry is oversaturated, which is the next big factor in our problem. Over 100,000 songs are uploaded to streaming platforms every single day, up from 40,000 a day just three years ago. Apple Music officially surpassed over 100 million songs on their platform last fall. Today, fans are constantly encouraging their favorite artists to drop music frequently, which can also result in rushed and low-quality releases. However, on the other hand, if you're an artist who isn't super established yet and you take your time between releases, the sad truth is that people will start to forget about you and say things like you fell off, simply because there is so much other music they can listen to instead. The rise of streaming platforms rather than buying individual songs has made music more accessible than ever. It has never been easier for artists to record and release music. As someone who also makes music that's super dope, however, it has never been more difficult for artists to build lasting careers. It's harder than it used to be for people to make a living as musicians. 
While it has also never been easier for new artists to go viral from their bedroom thanks again to TikTok, aside from a few exceptions, let's be honest, most of these guys go down as TikTok one-hit wonders. Social media has really created a double-edged sword for artists. Nowadays, you honestly have to do more than just drop songs if you want to grow as an artist, which has low-key shifted focus away from the music itself. Not only do we now see songs clearly being made with the intent for TikTok trends, Hey, as soon as it pop, bro, pull that fire out. Hey, this her first time coming to my house. Hey, hey. As well as fans who only listen to songs for the part they know from the trends. The way nobody sang the next verse embarrassing as. But TikTok specifically has also led to numerous songs from years ago now becoming very popular again. Die For You by The Weeknd is back in the Billboard Top 10 despite being released over six years ago, and Lil Baby's 2017 hit Freestyle has sat in the Top 10 on Apple Music for months thanks to TikTok just to name a few. The reality of the market is that now you're not just competing with other new music, but you're also competing with the best music period from past or present, says Spotify creative director Carl Sherry. Then you add the fact that nobody in hip hop is really doing anything super unique and different. It all just kind of blends together. Everything is redundant and repetitive. I mean, the mainstream trap sound has really not move the needle for the past three years if we're being if we really want to look at it now there are a few exceptions to this as well as exceptions to albums that have had a longer shelf life these past few years such as playboy cardi and the rage sound he brought to the mainstream with whole lot of red but when we listen to so much music week after week and these artists are using similar flows, production, etc., this leads to music that doesn't stick. Taylor Swift selling damn near 1.5 million units first week and most rappers selling 10 to 30k first week just shows it ain't really cause of new rules for Billboard that people are selling barely anything. Academics tweeted, it's because of mid music and lack of fan base. not gonna lie. So is the problem just a lack of originality and creativity? Well, I think it does play a part for sure. When the SoundCloud scene was at its height, there were unsigned underground artists doing more numbers than mainstream acts. No label pushed, just a loyal audience, says Cole Bennett. It was an era. Then the labels caught on and nothing has been the same since. Everything feels so artificial now. A big reason we look back on 2016 in those years was because what we were seeing had never really been done before. A new wave of young artists were changing the sound and culture of hip-hop just by being themselves. I also did a fire video on that too if you want to check it out. There are definitely still artists out there being creative and doing original shit, but the reality is a lot of them will always get overlooked and never see mainstream success. There is no doubt that the music industry is oversaturated. With the emergence of TikTok as well as the extremely low barrier of entry required for making music and potentially getting rich from your bedroom, there are more people releasing music today than ever before. While on one hand this is a very good thing, at the same time it makes it hard for us listeners to keep up with everything constantly coming out. But at the end of the day, listen to the music that you enjoy. Music is music and it's subjective. So listen to whatever the f*** you want, for however long you want to listen to it.